Hi, I'm going to show you how to run an R script on Peregrine. And Peregrine is a, is a computer cluster used at the University of Groningen, so it's not very representative for uh, all the others, it's very local. Uh, of course, I made a GitHub repository for that, you should build big slash Peregrine. This is a Peregrine with some build statuses. And on that repository we can find a collection of nodes, scripts, an R package and some presentations, for example here. Um, but again, what I'll be showing is how to run an R script on Peregrine. What I'll be doing, I will first clone this repository on my local computer and then run a simple R script on my local computer. So you can see how to work from the command line and th these steps should be very easy. Now we're going to do the same thing on Peregrine. Uh, also run the script there and then we're going to run the script but not directly but by putting it in a queue in the yeah, S patch. There's a queue in which you submit your jobs and you have to wait your turn. Um, and actually we won't finish, we won't await our turn, but um, at least you know then how to run an R script on Peregrine. Alright, first step. We're going to clone our repository locally. Well, I'm going to use the command line instead of some fancy tool. Uh, I just uh, copy the URL here. Bam, copy, you can copy it. And in the terminal I do git clone the repository name. And now we are in the Peregrine repository code. And I'm going to run an R script locally now. So, I'm, so if I take a look at our repository, we see there's a folder called scripts. And it's in the folder called scripts. There are multiple scripts. And what I'm going to do is there's a script called hello world. You see it's a very simple script, it just shows hello world and I can run it by R scripting it and then it shows. Alright, so that's how you do it locally. Now we're going to do the same thing on Peregrine. So to do that I use um, I use a shorthand to go there and there we are on Peregrine. And you can see it when it starts up it shows a Peregrine and ASCII art it loads some packages for me, it shows some things, I have some things running, that's unimportant, is what I'm using, also unimportant. Um, the first thing we're going to do is clone the repository on Peregrine. So on Peregrine you need to load git as a module, it's a, so I do that here. Next step I'm going to really clone it, git clone, and then we're going to copy the URL again, bam, and now we have the code of Peregrine on Peregrine. So let's go in it. There it is. Next step, we're going to run that R script on Peregrine. Well, again, we're going to go into the scripts folders. There's this hello world friend again. And first on Peregrine, you need to do module load R to allow to use R. And now we're going to run the script it's called hello world if I so just write our script hello world it will immediately run hello world all right so this all is very easy the hardest thing is to s batch the r script so we want to write something like s batch hello world dot r because s batch is the is the command to make peregrine one day do the calculations in hello world.r. It's not much of a calculation, but we can find all the queues of all people using Peregrine at the moment. Uh, it's, it's a waiting queue. So the, for example, this guy is, or girl is using a lot of nodes. It's for probably a big uh, calculation. Uh, so you, you have hundreds of nodes uh, that you can use, but you have to be in the queue. And with s batch you can get yourself in such a queue. Sadly, when you do this on an R script, it says, hey, this does not look like a batch script. It should be a bash script or shell script. So what we want to do is s batch um, some bash script. And that bash script should you call hello world.r. And actually, 
there is exactly such a batch script in the Peregrine folder. It's called run r script. This is it. I'm going to show it. Run r script. And what it does, it loads. So it starts its batch script. Here, how to use this sbatch run r script, my r script. And what it simply does, it calls r script on the, the file after you put in. So that's exactly what we need. So we're going to do sbatch run r script on our r script, which is hello world. Enter. So this means now we've submitted this very complex calculation to the queue. And I can see my queue here. Uh, so we, it was 082 in the end. And it did not add to the queue. One, oh, there it is. Ah, it was not, you couldn't see it in the queue because it immediately finished. All right, so uh, I predict now it's gone again. Yes, it's gone again. So you saw I had uh, node 120. If I do ls, I see two log files, uh, one for each run. And we're just going to uh, run, we're going to show the log file of the first script. Scri script 9, blah, 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 182. So this is the log file of the first script. It showed the command it does, and here we see hello world. So this is how you sbatch the R script using sbatch the shell script and then the R script. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Again, you can find the scripts all here in the scripts folder. And I wish you a very good day. Bye.